It wasn't really a plot against George Peters, but I'll admit it might have looked that way the morning his wife Jane stopped by for coffee. We had just been in our new house two weeks and I was still ecstatic over everything, especially my dream kitchen. Well, how do you like it? There's only one word for it. Terrific. <laughs> you know, I'm so proud of it, it's almost indecent of me. I can hardly wait to show it off a week from Friday night. Well, you go ahead and be indecent. Gal's got a right to enjoy her first housewarming party. I sure wish I was having one. You having many people? Well, not a mob, if that's what you mean. Just you, the Crawfords, the Slagles, the Martins, and a couple of others. Hey, why so sad? And this isn't the first time I've noticed it. Oh, Nothing, really. <laughs> Not very convincing, Jane girl. Whatever it is, I've got just the cure for it. There's a sensational sale going on at Watson's. A new hat would be the ideal tonic for you. I'm going down this afternoon for a small spree. How about coming with me? Oh, I wish I could, but it's just impossible. You've no idea how much I've got to do. Remember, I haven't got your dream kitchen to make things easier. Mine's strictly the nightmare type. And I wish George would do something about it. All he's done so far is talk, and, and not with any real enthusiasm. About moving, you mean? We've looked at a couple of older houses, but that's no improvement. We've got an older house. If only there was some way of really selling George on the idea. The fifth freedom, maybe. Freedom from unnecessary drudgery. Freedom to go shopping when the urge hits you, or when there's a sale going on. Well, sale or no sale, I'm swamped. Besides, my mother's been quite ill in Cleveland, and I've been thinking about taking the weekend off to visit her. I've got to get my clothes in the dryer. I'll show you a couple of my prized beauties. This setup makes any day wash day for me. And I can do my drying in any kind of weather with a gas dryer. It couldn't be easier. It's completely automatic. I remember seeing this washer in the magazine ad. It's automatic too, isn't it? That's right. And isn't there a little colored guide light that follows the operation through the various stages? Yes. I know exactly what's happening. I don't even have to watch a clock. Wait a minute. You say you're going to visit your mother this weekend. You know, Janie, my girl, this might prove a very fortunate trip for you. And just for kicks, don't get too far ahead in your housework. Now, why should you have to lay out everything all nice and ready for George and Jimmy, down to the last egg and can of salmon? Oh, no, I couldn't. I, I'd have to make things easy for them. After all... After all you've been going through, this might be the awakening for friend George. The big, bright dawn. It might do him a world of good to be left all alone with Jimmy for two or three days in your kitchen. Well, Jane finally got off for Cleveland. Still not too certain she was doing right by leaving George and Jimmy by themselves. Even though George was absolutely sure they'd get along just fine. That's what he said, just fine. When you leave a man to his own devices, he's apt to think of something fancy, like curried chicken with rice. But in this case, George not only should have done a little more thinking about his recipe, but should have kept his eyes on the stove as well. Now, if he had just let his rice simmer instead of boiling. But frankly, I doubt if George knew how to bring things to a simmer.
Well, maybe it was the mess, and maybe it was just the temperature outside, but George thought he could use a little cooling off. A nice, icy lemonade would be just right. How far is a mile? He would tell you it's the distance from his sink to his backyard garbage pail. Now, like many men tackling a problem, George was very efficient. Very. The smart way to do dishes was two meals at a time. Jane had been away for all of two and a half days. But the way she was welcomed back by George, you'd think she'd been gone a month. Well? <clears throat> oh, we'll be there early enough. The others aren't coming till seven. Look, I still have a couple of little things to do, but it'll only take a minute or so. Mmm, your famous sweet potato casserole. Yeah, only this time with shredded pineapple instead of orange juice. You two go over and sit at the table. Don will be back in a few minutes, George. He's doing some last-minute shopping for me. Oh, hey, I almost forgot the big news. I went out to Pond Ridge with Helen Baker today, and I broke 50 for the first time on nine holes. Hey, now, now, wait a minute, Alice. You mean to tell me that with this big shindy or staring you in the face, you still had time for golf? Nothing to it. With this kitchen, it's a breeze. Come on over. Look at some of the evidence. By the way, did you know that this kitchen won an award from the Woman's Home Companion? Huh? And really, they thought of everything. I just love the convenience and modern styling of this built-in gas range. Hey, Alice, aren't you going to light the oven? I don't have to. It's completely automatic. You'll never guess what this sauce is for the baked ham. Equal parts of grape jelly and light mustard, blended and simmered. And this burner does it without scorching. Anyone care for a spot of grapefruit juice to tide you over? Yeah. Incidentally, one of the things I love about this refrigerator is that it turns out ice circles and puts them in a bowl for you. All by itself. Continuous ice circles. Yeah? Really? <laughs> Aren't you taking a chance of staining that counter with fruit juice? No danger with Formica. Won't ever stain. Oh, that's the greatest help, George. Hanging the things you need where you need them. <laughs> in fact, this whole kitchen was designed for efficiency and convenience. 
That's what I like. Solid and sturdy as steel. Mm, and so easy to keep clean, too. Hey, what's this? Hmm? Oh, automatic flower dispenser. Very handy. Here, I'll show you how it works. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, oh hi, hi, Don, Don Boyle. Hi, hey, we're, we're a little early. Oh, that's good. I've been showing them around. Oh, yeah. Good, darling. Hello, Jane. Hi. Oh, Don, will you get rid of these for me while I sort this stuff? Well, you might have pressed old George into service. Here, come on, George, and I'll show you how it works. This is really for me, chum. What is it? Well, it's a simple gas disposer. It takes care of all the waste. The uh, brightest, shiniest bride could use this gizmo. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's great. And that also goes for this uh, automatic water heater. Mm -hmm. Two temperatures from the same tank at the same time. Now, uh, this pipe here, it uh, gives you hot water for the bathroom and for the kitchen sink. But the other pipe, this one gives you really hot water for clothes and for dishes to make them really clean. Wow. Uh, both any time you want. Hey, look, um, George, if you're really interested in this layout, the uh, man set it up for us, a good friend of ours, Ed Stevens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to be here tonight. Yeah, just in case you'd have anything to ask him. Yeah. 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 I want to say is that Don's little suggestion turned into a rather interesting and provocative conversation. And Ed Stevens is a handy man with figures and ideas. It certainly looked like progress was being made when we peeked in on them. Well, that's the way it worked out. And as I mentioned before, it wasn't a plot against George. Well, you don't think Jane and I would do something like that, do you?